Are you thinking about moving or traveling to Sebastian or the Treasure Coast and looking for some fun things to do? Stay tuned because that is exactly what we're going to talk about in this video. Hey everyone, my name is Spencer Bailey. I'm a local realtor and I live right here in Sebastian, Florida. If you are curious at all about the lifestyle here on the Treasure Coast or just want a little more information about our area, please feel free to reach out to me with any questions you may have. I would absolutely love to help you out and possibly find you that perfect home here on the Treasure Coast of Florida. With that being said, let's get right into the video. Okay, so getting into one of the biggest attractions that Sebastian has to offer, and that is the Sebastian Inlet. I am sure you have heard about it before and maybe have read about it, but I'm telling you, it definitely lives up to the expectations. If you love swimming, the outdoors, boating, fishing, and learning about the rich history of Sebastian, you definitely need to take a trip to the inlet. Personally, I love to fish and I've had great success out there, especially on the jetty. It's a very popular place to fish, so it can get crowded at times, but there's definitely a reason why uh, so many people come to that inlet and that is just because there's some monster fish that you can catch there. I'll put a few photos up on the screen of the fish that I've been able to catch there uh, in just this past year. Um, uh, you can catch snook, redfish, goliath grouper, Jack, Spanish mackerel, sheephead, cubera, mangrove snapper, and really so many other types of fish at that inlet, which is another reason why it's so popular. The jetty gets you out a couple hundred yards into the ocean, so hopefully you can hook onto that monster ocean fish that you've always been hoping to catch. Uh, fishing isn't the only thing to do at the Sebastian Inlet. There is a great man-made cove for the whole family to enjoy. It has picnic tables that gives a really nice calm place to swim and have a great family day. There is a little restaurant there as well with some small bites. So just in case you forgot to bring something to eat, you can always fall back on having a fresh caught fish sandwich or an ice cold beer, uh, really whenever you need. The Sebastian Inlet also offers a way to get your boat from the river onto the big blue ocean. And for the most part, it's not that bad to take out, however, you definitely have to have the right experience and the right boat to take it on that inlet because depending on the tide, the waves can be a little bit wicked. So you definitely need to be careful and have some experience in taking boats out of inlets and things like that before you do try. The inlet alone brings a lot of people here because the next closest inlet is in Fort Pierce and that's roughly around 45 minutes away, give or take. Another thing I need to mention when going to the Sebastian Inlet is on the way there, you can actually visit the McClarty Treasure Museum and learn all about uh, why our area has the nickname the Treasure Coast. It's really great fun for the kids and also honestly for me it was really cool because it educates you on all the treasure ships that have crashed on our shores and how people to this day are still digging up coins and emeralds right on our beaches. I would definitely highly recommend visiting the Mel Fisher or the McClarty Treasure Museum if you're in the area. Another fun place to go if you're visiting Sebastian is Captain Hiram's Resort. Captain Hiram's is a hotel, bar, and restaurant that you can go up, pull a chair to the bar, and kick off your shoes. The floor is sand and it's right on the river, so it gives you a great, relaxing Margaritaville vibe that you can enjoy and really have fun and let loose. They always have events like live music, karaoke, and trivia, and on major holidays like New Year's Eve, they always have fun events where everyone comes together and celebrates entering into the New Year's. It's always really fun, and aside from the bar, uh, restaurant, and hotel, uh, Captain Hiram's also has boat rides that they take you out on uh, in the Indian River, and they tell you all about Sebastian and its ecosystem and all the neat little facts about our area. You can definitely see an abundance of wildlife on that little boat ride, and hopefully you may even see a few dolphins as well. Captain Hiram's really encompasses the atmosphere that Sebastian has to offer. It's a Hawaiian shirt, sandals, and a bad suntan with a cold beer in your hand kind of atmosphere. And that just is exactly how Sebastian is. So if you're looking to experience Sebastian, the best place I really can recommend you to go is Captain Hiram's. 
So now I'm going to share with you one of my favorite spots to grab a bite to eat. It might not be on everyone's radar, but it's Mobe Grill. Mobe Grill is a Jamaican restaurant with really amazing Jamaica. Jamaica, Jamaican food. Um, I always like their either their jerk chicken or they also have a really good grouper sandwich. And my uncle went there once and he said he ate the oxtail stew and it was one of the best things he ever had. It's located right on Indian River Drive here in Sebastian. So either before or after your lunch or dinner, you can have a nice walk on the boulevard next to the river with a little scenery. The chef that cooks there, his name is Wesley Campbell. He's a world-renowned chef and has cooked from at Mobe for the last 14 years. And he always has the time uh, to check up on his guests and make sure they're satisfied with his dishes, which I'm always um, blown away by. Definitely a hidden gem of Sebastian, and you don't really have to break the bank to go there. They have absolutely great lunch specials with most dishes ranging anywhere from $10 to $30. So next time you're in Sebastian and you're hungry, make sure to stop by Mobe. Tell them Spencer sent you. Okay, so this next place I'm going to recommend is for all my nature lovers and bird watchers. If you love either of those things, you should definitely visit the Pelican Island National Wildlife Refuge. It's a very beautiful area with tons of birds and wildlife. It's great for bird watching and taking a leisurely stroll around, all while learning about the natural habitat around you. On the website, it says... The nation's most historic refuge offers an array of recreation opportunities for birders, nature photographers, and other outdoor enthusiasts. Two three-mile loop trails around managed salt marsh and mangrove habitats, as well as our newest wildlife trail, gives a taste of the refuge's habitats and wildlife. Fall through spring are considered to be the best time of year to see the famous residents of Pelican Island, including the migratory white pelicans, as well as the nesting brown pelicans. It's a really nice area that you can get outdoors, maybe get some exercise, and you have a great view as well. Okay, so this last place that I want to share with you is for all my beer drinkers out there, and that is the Paradolia Brewing Company. They are a local brewery here in Sebastian, and they have an absolutely great selection of craft beer. They have even won some awards for the amazing beer that they have brewed over the years. The owner, he's a really nice guy, and you can regularly see him in there chatting it up with the locals. Uh, there's usually some live music being played in the afternoons, and it just makes for a really nice laid-back atmosphere that's just great to hang out with your friends and talk. They also have some great food there as well. I would highly recommend their beer cheese that they have there. Don't even get me started. I love beer cheese. It's so good. Um, so definitely order that. They also have some wine, seltzers, and ciders, just in case beer is not your flavor and that's more your style. Um, there's also a nice porch out front with really good views. Um, so if the weather's nice and you have your dog as well with you, uh, you can go outside and enjoy the afternoon or the night with your pooch as well. Like I said, it has a great atmosphere and for many locals like myself, it's their go-to hangout spot if they want to catch something to drink. Okay, everyone, so those are just some of my favorite things to do here in Sebastian, Florida. If you're thinking about coming down, you should definitely consider in going and checking out the places that I mentioned. As you may know by now, I am a real estate agent down here in Sebastian, so if you are considering moving down here or anywhere on Florida's East Coast, feel free to reach out to me with any questions. Um, I would absolutely love to give you some helpful tips and tricks for, where, for whenever you do decide to move down here to the Sunshine State. As always, everyone, I hope this video helped, and if it did, make sure to leave a like and a comment. Make sure to subscribe and check back every week for when I post a new video about living in this beautiful town. Uh, I'm here on the Treasure Coast. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care.